I came across this website, which is um, quite good, uh, Artnet News. The first one that I want to talk about is this one. Um, did this man really burn 10 million Frida Kahlo on camera just for sell NFTs? Uh, we did frame by frame uh, analysis of the YouTube video. Uh, it may or may not be a real drawing by party drone, but burning was real, documented on YouTube. Oh, apparently we can find this uh, on YouTube. And first of all, before we go through the article, I would love to be through this. This is just some crazy billionaire that just burned a real Frida Kahlo artwork to create an NFTs. I don't know what does it mean um, to sell NFTs. So did he create a video and then sold the, NF the video as an NFT? And let's go through this. Um, here is very contemporary artwork, brain puzzle, and then and Purdue Burns is Frida Kahlo drawings in a scheme to sell NFTs. What's worse, if it's a total scam or if it's a total totally real? That's true. Well, what would be worse? This is, is quite quite interesting um, question. Is it worst? I mean, personally, I think it is. But it would be worst like burning um, the real artwork to create NFTs or, or to sell NFTs. Or if it's a scam, which means like it didn't burn a real Frida Kahlo, which is good, but it was a scam. So let's see. This is a question we're forced to confront after watching a video now circulating on an event uh, from the July 30th of this year where NFT entrepreneur Martin Mobarak did just that. Uh, specifically, Mobarak burned what he claimed was a page of Frida Kahlo sketchbook containing an artwork called Fantasmones Sinitros. Uh, he listed the original work value for 10 million and he and he's claim is claiming that some portion of what he will make from selling NFTs attached to the digital image of the work will go to charity. All right, so if it's true, make some money for charities but at the same time he burned uh, 10 million drawings from Fida Kahlo which was one of the greatest artists we have in art history um, that, that, oh, that, that's crazy uh, what, what people do it for, for for marketing it's just it's just crazy uh so let's see it's a mark of just how high the bar of weirdness is today yeah it's pretty weird um yeah technically did this for attention right i mean if he if it this guy if this guy actually burned and 10 million drawing to sell NFTs, which I don't want, he didn't say yet if it's the NFTs is made by by the by the video they made burning the burning the Frida Kahlo drawing or is it just um, is just a stunt to to make the new to make the news so it can sell the the NFTs that you wanted to sell um but at the end of the day, was was for attention, right? So people nowadays do weird weird stuff for attention. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's something that's interesting. Um, the whole thing is creepy," said Mar Marianne Martin, one of the top Latin American art dealer in the world. 
who twice sold a Carlo drawing in question. Uh, once in 2004 to the foundation, once in 2013 to a private collector. She said she did not sell the drawing to Mubarak and had never heard of him before last week. So, so obviously she said it's creepy, which is, it's weird. Uh, but this is, this is really interesting. It makes, it, it, that's the point of what he's doing. So, she, Mary, uh, Marianne Martin, one of the top Latin American art dealers. So she's a big in the art world, right? And she never heard of this Mubarak until last week, which I'm pretty sure Mubarak, it's, it's already a collector. He has money, so... It will be well known in the in the art world already, but that's that's literally that's the point of the thing they did. Um, she she knows him through this stunt, which hopefully is a is a scam, um, meaning it's not a real drawing. So we didn't lose an Frida Kahlo drawing. Um, but yeah, that's the whole thing for the attention. So that's um, that's the whole point why he did it. Nobody knew about him and about this NFT that he was selling. But now people that are in the art world, like this lady, knows about him. And yeah, that's that's marketing. It's pretty genius marketing, to be honest. As a ex graphic design. Um, me myself uh, for marketing this is a great stunt um let's see let's see what i actually did so in any case if you're looking at something that looks like a parody of every bad idea crypto last year go watch the frida Kahlo nft's launch video that's not what we are talking about so that's the guy, Martin Mubarak, Maxina, American philanthropist, obviously, <laughs> and an interpret, uh, entrepreneur. Let's see. So this guy, the reason why not explain, uh, now he explained in the video, we cut to a table for a person, Colombian designer. That's the video. That's oh, that's oh. Those are like screenshot from the video, and we can see for people that are just listening. So he launches some design stuff, so like clothes and bags and stuff like that. And so there was some uh, news reporter there. There is a party apparently it looked like, um, and yeah. So that's the security guy we can see in the screenshots and this and he brought these drawings which is here uh, the Frida Kahlo apparently the Frida Kahlo drawings and he placed it on uh, this is crazy he placed it on the martini glass and um, like a cocktail martini glass and yeah he burned it. Like we can see in the screenshot. If you're no, if you're just listening to this, please go to the YouTube channel and the Artful Podcast YouTube channel and watch the videos or the screenshots of this. Like there is the drawings, which he had a frame, and now um, he took out from the frame and he placed it on a martini glass and he burned it. As the color image melts into flames, an animated projection behind Mobrak scenes to show the images emerging from the fire, symbolizing as the Frida's NFT.org website. How like a phoenix raising from the ashes, art is reborn into eternity as the leaf of Frida Kahlo's sketchbook is permanently trans transitioned into a metaverse. 
I see what he means. Oh, that's the, the projector. I really hope he did not burn a real drawing. So he was launching these NFTs, uh, Frida Kahlo's NFTs. And this was his transaction. So it was like a symbolic um, burning of the real drawing into the metaverse. Ah, this is crazy. This guy is, is mental. I really hope it's a fake. This guy's mental. A final call promises future event on Frida NFT's holding community. Whether that means more art burning or more poor side fashion show, it's not clear. I don't know. To be honest, from the the look of the guy, let's see if I can show you. He was here. From the look of the guy, he looks like a drug dealer. Um, to the whole stand, it's uh, it's really weird because it makes me think it's a fake. Um, and he did this um, to you know, obviously to shock people and create. Um, a stand to like as a marketing stand, and that will be that will be genius, and that's why I think it's a fake because, and obviously it's related to the to his. I think it's it's a, its own project, the Frida NFTs dot org website, whatever NFTs um, Frida Kahlo's NFTs, and. Oh my god, this is crazy! And so, yeah, there was there, there was a stunt. So he burned his drawings. Had, why did he place it on the and on a martini glass? Like this is so weird. And why there was a fashion show? I have so many questions. I think the the article made me question even more. I have more questions than after reading this article than than answers and was oh this is the uh oh, this is the video um, we're not gonna watch this are we watching this let's see if we can watch this might be some music uh let's for yeah let's that's the show that's the guy martin mubarak and yeah why there was um fashion show did he launch the show like his his brand did he had a brand and yeah, is, is that a kid god I, I'm, I'm so i'm really holding myself here um let's see let's skip the show fire and yeah this is i think this is the moment so he's presenting stuff he's talking 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 oh, this is the moment where they bring the drawings out yeah why oh my god he's taking it out it looks like a proper frame He's holding the drawing like nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Why did he? Oh my god! The oh my god! This is the drawing. And and he's burning the drawing. Why is it on in a martini glass? Did he drink it? Please tell me he drink it. No, it looks like it's not an actual cocktail. And this is the video on the metaverse. Ten limit, ten thousand limited edition NFTs. Ah, oh my God, I'm so confused. I really does he say why? Why was he? Why is it in a martini glass? Uh, it was it was cool if he, then he drank it, he drank the drawing. Then she, she will be 
the drawing will be in him. Oh, does he have paint on on the jacket? Oh, yeah, because it's uh, it's art, is it? So you need to be a painted. You need to have a painted jacket. Um, to be honest, the drawings. Let me see the in the video when you took the drawing out. It looked like a proper frame. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a proper frame, but when he is holding at some point, let's keep skip. No, that's already f in, on fire. Let's play here. Um, yeah, when he's holding it here, it's weird because no, it doesn't say. Let's see if we can watch it. Sticking it out, and I don't know. Depends on obviously on what paper she was using and stuff. I don't know. I really hope this is no real drawing, and it's it, 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 if it's not, it makes sense. It's a cool stunt, uh, marketing stunt that he made. But yeah, okay, cool. And yeah, I'm selling the drawing as NFTs now. 10,000 NFTs. Crazy. So this, oh, I'm, I'm already tired after this. Um, this is the first news. <laughs> what else we have here? <laughs> this guy's crazy.